Yeah, it's rewind time. If I can show rewind, I want Fedora and Tech Hut. We're here on Pizza Loving Nerds Rewind on Fedora, and so far I am loving Gnome 40. Probably the largest change to the Gnome desktop environment since Gnome 3. If you're not a fan of minimalism or app-centered design, then this is probably not for you. So, Arch Linux has an installer now. And if I didn't know any better, I would have thought that it was an April Fool's joke. All right, get this, Arch Linux, the distro being uh, known for being hard to install, now has a guided installer built right into its ISO. This is official. Now, what this basically is, is a installation script that will get you to the point where you have basically a working Arch system. On December 8th of 2020, it was announced that the CentOS project would be shifting focus to their recently minted CentOS stream project. CentOS is announced that it is being converted from a stable, viable alternative to Red Hat Enterprise Linux, uh, and it will become instead a testing branch of RHEL, which many people have raised uh, an eyebrow or two at. I mean, that's not something that uh, businesses do in good faith. Uh, Rocky Linux is a distribution that is aimed to be a community enterprise operating system, and they say that it's designed to be 100% bug for bug compatible. And as you can see here, I have Alma Linux installed. Now I am very excited to check out Alma Linux when the beta phase is over and the final release is published. But already, here we are at beta one, and I am very impressed. All right, hello everybody, this is Tech Hut. This is a beautiful day, and it is a good day because Pop OS 21.04, featuring their new and improved Cosmic Desktop Environment, has been officially released. And here we are, our new Cosmic Desktop. Now this is a completely fresh and native install. So the out of the box look is actually quite nice. I don't mind the way the dock's been set up, especially with the edge to edge. It's kind of a bit more like a panel as opposed to a dock, but we can go into the settings and shrink it all down. It's probably the best Linux distro there is for a Linux beginner, as you get the stability of an Ubuntu base, but without the hassle of dealing with some of the more annoying things to deal with in the Linux world. And I gotta say, I'm blown away by it. I really think that this new cosmic desktop environment that now ships with Pop! OS is really going to make Pop! OS potentially explode in popularity. The University of Minnesota has been banned from contributing to the Linux kernel for knowingly submitting code with security flaws. Up next in the show, we have some interesting news to talk about, and you could even call it drama-related news, that relates to the Freenode IRC network. All things must come to an end, and it seems like Freenode's new leadership, who took over the network over the past few years, are doing everything they can to drive it into the ground fast. According to Freenode's staff, uh, Andrew's acquisition of Freenode Limited was solely for the purpose of organizing Freenode live conferences. The staff said that they were not privy to any other uh, stipulations in the deal, and were told that this would not impact the day-to-day -day operations of Freenode itself. Uh, Audacity sent your personal data to Russia and other third parties. Audacity 3.0 called spyware over data collection changes. And not for children, Audacity fans dropped the F-bomb. <laughs> They're talking about forks but we'll get to that in a bit. This is the all new Elementary OS 6 Odin. So sure it's been a very long time, but this is one of the biggest distribution releases I have ever reviewed, all distros and all desktop environments included. The App Center has undergone a fundamental shift and that is away from traditional .deb installed packages and towards flat packs. You remember when I couldn't find Vim? Well, now you can't find anything. Overall, you know, Elementary has always looked rather clean and polished. It's very professional. It's kind of its own walled garden, like Mac OS, right? They present limited options. This is Steam Deck, the most powerful gaming handheld in the world. Yeah, baby. Valve has announced more. the Steam Deck, which is their new handheld gaming device powered by Linux. Yep, that's right. 
It's a Linux system, you know this. The new version of SteamOS is optimized for handheld gaming and it won't get in the way with other stuff. But if you want to get your hands dirty, head on out to the desktop. And again, that looks like uh, KDE Plasma and it's running on a CRT, that's pretty cool. To make it easier for developers to ship their games across PC platforms, support for the Wine and Proton compatibility layers on Linux is included. Starting with the latest SDK release, developers can activate anti-cheat support for Linux via Wine or Proton with just a few clicks in the Epic Online Services developer portal. default browser has become significantly more difficult now, with the removal of common app types like web browsers, mail readers, and media players. So Windows 11 was just announced, and a lot of people quickly realized that their computer might not meet the minimum hardware requirements because of one type of component, a TPM, Trusted Platform Module. Now, we're introducing the PinePhone Pro, <coughs> the fastest mainline Linux smartphone in the market. This is Postmark OS with KDE Plasma Mobile. It works basically exactly the same as the original PinePhone, but a lot faster. The PinePhone Pro takes it to the next level with significantly more storage out of the box, a faster hexa-core processor, a bit more RAM, and an overall cleaner, more premium build, including Gorilla Glass 4, a 13 megapixel rear camera, and 5 megapixel front-facing camera. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, there it is. Just like that. I will definitely need Steam. Fail to install Steam. And I have to type yes, do as I say in order to uh, no. install it. No. Oh, no. No, don't do it. <laughs> don't say that. Do as I say in order to install it. Oh. And maybe it will install in Blanche now. And now to finish this rewind, let's quickly go through all the distros that came out this year. Garuda Linux. Linux Mint 20.1. Solus 4.2. Manjaro 21. Chinoes. Ubuntu 21.04. Fedora 34. Bodhi Linux version 6. Oh my gosh. Pop OS V 21.04 edition. Linux Mint 20.2. A few days ago, Solus came out with version 4.3. Elementary OS 6. Debian 11. Zoid OS 16. Farron OS. Ubuntu 21.10. EMX 21. Fedora 35. Pop OS 21.10, which was released on December 14th. And that's the end of my YouTube rewind for Linux. Make sure to subscribe. Thanks to TechHub for being in the intro, and check out all the YouTubers whose footage I used in the description.